Uh, Atma, you've also been playing Ratchet. Do you want to go ahead and talk about that? Uh, yes, I love it. It is so good. Um, yeah, it, I, uh, so I mentioned this on Twitter, but this is Ratchet has been the first game where I actually noticed visibly, uh, the 60 FPS versus 30 FPS. Um, because it has like the performance mode versus the, I can't remember what they call it, what the visuals where it's either like really 4k visuals, but 30. Oh, it's frames like, per uh, second. it's like performance versus, versus quality, quality or something. Fidelity, or, I think. Fidelity. There it is. Yeah. Fidelity, Fidelity. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And so like, I've been, I was playing originally in performance mode for a little bit. Then I was like, I want to see what the, how good the graphics get in Fidelity. And so I switched to that and I could immediately see the difference in the frames per second. I was like, Oh no, Oh no, I'm turning into one of the the frames per second people because up until like I could switch back and forth between it at will, I had never been able to tell. Um, but specifically with ratchet, because they allow you to do that. And I'm sure other PS five games have that as well. Um, I could immediately tell and yeah, the 60 frames per second version of ratchet is super smooth. Uh, the graphics are amazing. It definitely takes, uh, the, the PS five to the next level. It's like, yeah, this is next gen type stuff. Um, I'm a little successfully been converted. I am happy for that. (laughs) You've joined the 60 (laughs) FPS family. Now just wait, if you get super into PC gaming, Join the 144 FPS. Oh, oh no, no, I can't. Say that. I'm not <laughs> going that far. Um, as for the, like the actual game itself, I love it. I've you know, Ratchet and Clank has been one of my favorite series. Uh, I played the PS2 games. I've played Deadlocked, and I even played the stupid spinoffs like Full Frontal Assault and uh the the all for one co-op and all that stuff like i love ratchet and clank and this one is top quality like it's high up there it's up there with uh going commando tools of destruction crack in time the best ones of the series uh very good gameplay the guns are fantastic all of them feel good especially with the dual sense controller um I'm a little disappointed that they don't do more with the dimension hopping uh like the when the initial trailer reveal when you like grabbed he grabs the the dimensional hole and like Mm -hmm. pulls it forward that look like it looks really cool but it pretty much functions as like a really cool looking grappling hook yeah Um, you're not you're not like going between dimensions you're just like going between two locations i i I will say like in that beginning sequence where you're kind of like going through a whole bunch of dimensions or i believe there's even a um I forget what the arena is on that one. I think it's like the third planet you go to or like little location yeah. where you're where you're on the uh, what's the speedy bug you're on? The Spitler? The Speedle, I think Speed- they call it. There that. you go. Yeah. You're just going through a bunch of portals. You're going through different worlds. I'm like, oh, yeah, they're totally just flexing. Just like, look at what we can do with the PS5 F- SSD technology and whatnot. And it looks yeah. cool. Yeah. It is, it, and I'll, when when they do do it, it is really cool. And like there are, there's like a couple boss fights where you like fall through dimensions and like fight in different areas. And from what I understand, the way the developer said, like it isn't like they're loading this for the specific boss fight. Like the SSD loads that entire planet when you're on it. You're actually fighting in that world mm-hmm. uh, when they switch between them. And so it's it's really cool. Everything is fast no loading times uh yeah it, it's it's a it's a great game on top of being like high quality technology for uh, the ps5 i forgot how addicting it is to even just uh to, to cycle through all the weapons to like level them up to level five and everything i'm just like oh let me do like some weird combinations i can use the weird uh terrarium thing to like basically stun big dudes and i can unload and i can spawn mr fun guys and i can unload with freaking bombs it's you can do some really crazy um I, some really crazy shit i love the ratchet and clank series because of that like i i know like people love call of duty and battlefield and those like shooters but like give me wacky ass guns give me the sheepinator give me <laughs> you know 
tornado guns and, and buzz blades and like a thing that the topiary cannon that turns everything into grass. Like it's there, there's one of the gun. One of my favorite guns is the, the cold snap. You get it later in the game and you fire this like bomb blast and it turns enemies into ice cubes. And like, if they already had momentum, they like slide around the level and it's just so much fun. Uh, I, I cannot this, this like Ratchet and Clank and Persona 5 Strikers are right now dueling head to head for like game of the year for me. They're just they're, those are the top ones. It fight mill. It, uh, what the it fight mill? It might. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> what is English? <laughs> it fight mill like no, it, it might feel weird to describe it like this, but um, I swear it's an energy drink. It's not beer. Um <laughs> <laughs> um it, it's such like a feel-good game where i'm just like this is just fun to play it's good vibes it's i just love it it is i'm always happy playing it i think one minor little gripe i have is on the is on the swamp planet where you have that side quest to get the, the fruit or whatever for um a little dinosaur flying thing where it, it puts stuff on the map that you can't necessarily get at that point in time. And I, I can't stand that shit in games. I'm just like, if I can't get it, don't tell me it's there. Just just yeah. hide it. Because I'm just like, because I'm Googling, just like, why why can't I grab this thing? Am I supposed to like fly down to the fruit? Can I shoot it somehow? And then you find out, oh no, you have to get like 45 of the other ones. And then you can get the flame ability that you didn't know was a thing. Yeah, I had the exact same problem. I had to Google it too. I was like, why can't I grab this one? And then, oh, it's because I don't have an ability they never mentioned. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I, I don't care if it breaks complete diegeticness or whatnot. If I can't get something, just straight up tell me, hey, dude, you can't get this shit. I, I'm like, okay, cool. Thanks. You appreciate my time. <laughs> I, I'm down for that. I, yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Uh, what about you, Corey? Have you touched it all? Um, oh, Ratchet and Clank? Yes. Uh, no, because I, I, I honestly didn't really grow up with Ratchet and Clank, and I never, I never really had uh, a child. I never, I, I never. Wow. Okay. No, <laughs> I was. Listen, listen. No, I, I never played. I never played Ratchet and Clank, or uh, I think the only games I uh, of those kinds like I ever really touched was Banjo Kazooie and Spyro, and you know those games. Basically, um, I had friends who were into those games. I just. I don't know. It, it, they didn't have golden puzzle pieces and like a, a running bear with a bird in its backpack. So I was fine. <laughs> Stupid motherfucker doesn't even have a bird in his backpack. What kind of punk <laughs> ass is this? <laughs> uh, I, I got you though. Like, yeah. uh, I, for, I I was just thinking about the other. I had I had some weird. Oh no, it was it was uh, Jack uh, Jack and Daxter. You know, I I loved Spyro growing up, and I. I love Spyro more than Crash. Crash, I'm, I'm like, oh, I really like it. I'm not sure if I'd say, like, I love the old Crash games. Uh, but when Jack and Daxter came, I'm just like, oh, those are the Crash people. And I'm just like, I don't know. He's not as cool as fucking Spyro. Fuck that guy. <laughs> I'm just like, what, do you, what does he do? He jumps and he spins. Pff, whatever. He yeah. doesn't even spit fire. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's my excuse i was like anytime uh anytime my boyfriend's like crash is better crash is i grew up with crash crash is amazing and i'm like okay but like spyro is a literal dragon who can breathe fire among other uh, other abilities so like i you know what i'll agree i'll agree with candy <laughs> out of all the platformers from that era whether it's mario banjo kazooie crash spyro anything from that era Spyro, I think, is hands down the best designed. Because you're a dragon. You're Fuck a dragon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but which one got a sequel that just came out? We don't know. We don't know. You have to hold your breath. That one. Hold your breath. We might get a Spyro four. You don't know. <laughs> that reignited chili is fucking cool. And um, my girlfriend, she she got the because I played it on PS4. Uh, she has it on Switch. And every time she gets stuck on on um on trying to get something, because she she wants hundred percent it, even though there's no trophies or whatever on uh on Switch. She's like, here, can you help me? Every time I get the excuse to play more Spire, I'm like, oh fuck yeah, I'm gonna help you. I fucking love I, this game. I, I have hundred I have a hundred percented uh Spyro uh Spyro the Dragon, um Ripto's Rage, which is my favorite of the series, by the way. Ripto's Rage is is fantastic. 
Uh, and then um, the third one, I haven't 100%ed yet, but I'm going to go back to it eventually. I will say, I, I would have said two is my favorite for most of my life. I think I kind of enjoy the more simple nature of one nowadays. That's true. Yeah, that's true. And, the, and that. the three does. <sighs> Three adds a lot of sidekick characters. It kind of does like the Sonic Syndrome stuff mm -hmm. where it's, it's it's never like as good to play as them, even though it adds like a decent amount of variety. But three goes like super overboard. with just like, hey, <sighs> you don't have this fucking power. You can't get this shit. Yeah, um, it, it make three definitely makes you go back, makes you go back and forth a lot. I mean, the first the like the other games did that, too. But like I three does it to like the nth degree. I think two had it for some of the some of the for levels some, for some two. of the hub stuff but mm. i don't believe you gained any like abilities or anything in one i think you can do everything you yeah. can like from the get-go i think yeah i think you're right in one you can pretty much 100 percent every level as you go to them mm. <laughs> that fucking treetop level can uh also it's could fuck off though also the the raceway levels uh weren't oh. as difficult they weren't as difficult as i remember them being so i actually didn't have too hard of a time with the raceway levels well that's because we have youtube now you can you can find the optimal path to go or maybe i'm just a better gamer now who knows <laughs> like <laughs> maybe you're just better than me and Atma, i guess what about what about you, Alma? Where, where do you rest on the supreme platformer god? You gonna go with Ratchet or no, Ratchet's PS2? Ratchet. We're talking N64 yeah. PS1 era. Like I, I'm I'm old school. I Super Mario 64 is is my the height. I know a lot of other things came out and did all sorts of other cool stuff, but Super Mario 64. I've gotten 120 stars more times than I can count uh so also also there's like i've seen speed runs of super mario 64 where you don't have to collect all the stars necessary and it's just like ridiculous it's ridiculous <laughs> uh, i'll be honest whenever i play mario 64 and i and i did it for the uh little collection they did on switch before they cut off mario's head and just on back in march you can't play his, you can't play that game anymore you can't buy mm -hmm. it you can still play it um the way I always treated like getting all the stars in Mario is that I did it and I have never 100% of that game because there's just some stars I don't like doing. So I'll kind of like pick and choose my way through just so I can get to Bowser at the end. Let me, Spyro, I always 100% Spyro. With, let, me, let me ask Atma this question. Um, so at the end of Mario 64, when you 100% it, like you get all the stars, you unlock Yoshi, right? Yep. And then what? You can't sit. You can't you ride do Yoshi. You, yeah, you can't do anything with Yoshi. You just he shows up at the top of Princess Peach's castle and is like, "Hey, I'm here. Congratulations." That's it. That's not worth it. <laughs> 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 I want to at least be able to ride Yoshi around, but like, no. <laughs> you, you can do oh it in Sunshine. It, maybe that's why Sunshine's better. It's true. Even if Yoshi dissolves and dies the second he touches water. Except for the hotel level. The hotel level can burn. Oh, yes. Like, <laughs> and all, I, all I know is that there are like, there are literal, there's entire levels in Super, Sma in Super Mario 64 that I avoided. I, I like literally didn't even, I maybe got one star in, in, in some of these levels and I just like didn't even go yeah. back to them. And I think one of those levels is the one where it has like the different water levels that you have to keep hitting mm. up and down. Oh, I, I can't level. stand that one. I hate it. And also the one where you have to like, you enter one painting and it's your ginormous and you enter another oh, painting. Yeah. And tiny. I hate that level too. I love that level. That's one of my favorites. <laughs> really? Really? Yeah. My, one of my favorites is the, is Boo Mansion. Boo Mansion. Yeah. Like that Boo Mansion is fun. I, I hate, the fucking eel level. I the, oh, the that, eels terrified me as a kid, and I still haven't got over it. <laughs> the eel, you're like I am traumatized <laughs> by the eel. <laughs> Whenever I think back to like some of those platforms, because when I I don't think I even beat Galaxy on, on Switch. I, I beat 64. I beat um I almost said Fun Flower. Fun, yeah, Fun Flower. I, I can't speak. <laughs> uh, Super Mario Fun Flower. Um, Sunshine. Um. Like I, there's some good stuff on there, but there's like a lot of 
BS also. Where, and I'm just like, I hate to bring this up. I'm just like, Spyro just consistently like front to back. Fucking great. There's it no is, like yeah. low. There, there is no hotel level. Because like, <laughs> like, even with 64, I'm willing to forgive it because you can't just kind of pick and choose what levels you want to do. And Sunshine, you have to get to the point in each level where you beat uh, Shadow Mario. So you kind of have, there's no way around it. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Uh, I think that's one thing that threw me off about Sunshine was that it's not how many stars you get. It's like how many stars you get in each level that gets you to the end. And I was just like, oh, okay. 